Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the song Normal by Porcupine Tree. We are in standard tuning and have a capo on the 5th fret. We start with the intro, which goes like this. 2nd fret on the B string. Then a hammer on to the 3rd fret on the B string. Then a pull off, back to the 2nd fret on the B string. And another pull off to the open B string. So we have... After that we land on the 3rd fret of the G string with our middle finger. Um, this little lick at the beginning um, is probably the most uh, tricky part of the whole song um, because you got to do it really fast. You have to do it. Um, I'd say you do it slowly at first. and then increase your speed until you uh, get it. If you don't, if you're not able to play it the first time you try it, uh, it's no problem. It's really a tricky song. So we have... Then we play the open the open B string again. We land on the G string, 3rd fret, and then we play the open B string. Then go to the 2nd fret on the G string and we play also the open B and E string. So everything slowly. Then we lift up our index finger and we play the open G, B and E string. Okay, then we go 2nd fret on the D string, open D string, 2nd fret on the D string. And finally we play the open G string. This is the first part of the intro. I play it for you once again, slowly. The second part of the intro is very similar, it goes like this. So instead of just playing the open G string, we play this A power chord and uh, we play it like an A sus2 but without the open B and E string. So we play it with our middle finger and our ring finger. Okay, so first part of the intro. Second part of the intro. Okay. And after we uh, play the A, we go and go into the verse. We're going to take a look at the verse in a second video. So we have the A and then we uh, lift up our ring finger to get the open uh, G string like that.
-hmm. And then we go to the E minor, it's the first chord of the verse. But as I said, we're going to take a look at that in a second video. So uh, once again... And then and after that um, the verse starts. Okay, um, see you in the next video. Um, then we're gonna take a look at the verse. Thanks for watching. Okay, second video, we're gonna take a look at the verse and the chorus. We end on the E minor. And we take our index finger on the first, first fret on the B string and we pull off. Okay, so we have... Then we go to an A minor chord and we do the same. go to, to this chord, which reminds me a little bit of um, Fear of a Blank Planet. So um, it's like an A minor, but then we uh, take our index finger and put it on the first fret on the D string, first fret D string, second fret uh, G string. And then we take our ring finger to do the pull off on the first fret B string. I'm not really sure if Stephen Wilson um, plays everything with a pick or if he, um, you know, uses his fingers um, separately. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, you're gonna figure it out. So we have. After that, um, after the verse, we go into the chorus with a C chord, or not a hundred percent sure, you can play the normal C or a C at nine. That's normal now. So C, that's normal now. A minor, any, and then we go into the chorus, which is um, the easiest part of the song actually. Um, the chorus always um, reminds me a little bit of Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. We have an E minor and we take our pinky on the 3rd fret on the B string. Okay, that's the first chord. Then we take our ring finger and put it on the 2nd fret on the B string. So we have... Then again we have a C chord, you can again choose between the normal C and the C at 9, I'm not sure. And we end on an A minor chord, so that's how we play it. Way I wish away each day. Some them all the kids play, and this way I wish away each day. I wonder if you can play the Aces 2 instead of the A minor, but no, it doesn't sound that good. A minor is is good. Well, 
so it sounds okay too, but you can decide kind of <laughs> which chords sound best for you. Okay, um, then there is the um, electric guitar which is tuned to drop D. We're gonna take a look at that in another video. And uh, after the electric guitar, there is this um, very easy part. Wish I was old and a little sentimental. Wish I was old and a little sentimental. So we have um, like uh, like Wonderwall, <laughs> E minor with third fret on the B string and third fret on the E string. Wish I was old and a little. Then we go into the D chord, G chord. G and into the D chord. So E minor, G and D. So wish I was old and a little sentimental. 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 So we uh, squeeze in the C chord right before going back to the E minor. Wish I was old and a little sentimental. 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 Yeah, and after that we have this little um, acoustic guitar solo. Um, we will also take a look at that in another video. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Okay, the acoustic guitar solo goes like this. We have an E minor, then we go... So E, 2nd fret on the E string, 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string, open A string, A sus2, the A sus2 shape. Okay, so E, Second fret on the G string. Oh, first the open G string. Open G string, hammer on, second fret, and another hammer on to the open G string. Then we land with our ring finger on the fourth fret on the D string. So we have And then another pull off to the open D string. So then we have the third fret on the E string. Open E string and the third fret, and then we play like we'll play um, a G chord. Just, just three on the E string and two on the A string. Okay, that's how the first part of the um, solo ends goes. Oops, not. Not those strings, only the like the A power chord. Okay, then we go open D, D, open, open G string. 
then 4th fret on the G string and 2nd fret on the G string. Then we lift up our index finger Okay, so until here. Okay, and then we go third fret on the B string, third fret, open B string, open G string. And 2nd fret on the G string. Okay, so. Okay, after we land here, we go 2nd, 0. Second, zero, second, and then we do this the slide to the fourth fret. Fourth fret on the G string. And last note, we add the sixth um, the fifth fret on the B string. Okay, that was a lot. Um, let's do it once again slowly. E minor. So this is the acoustic guitar solo. Once again. Oops, I'm sorry. Once again. Okay, a bit tricky, but I think the, the intro is trickier. Actually, yeah, just do it slowly, then increase your speed, and I think you will uh, figure it out. Okay, um, there will be a last video in which um, I show you what the um, electric guitar plays that uh, doesn't have a capo but is tuned in drop D during that whole one part where there is uh, distortion. Okay, see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Hi everyone and welcome to the last video on how to play Normal by Porcupine Tree. Um, this part is played by John Wesley. He uses a guitar in drop D tuning. And uh, the part um, I think the most difficult thing about it is the is the picking, which is almost like a like a mandolin picking. So um, if you figure out the picking, then everything else is quite easy for you. So at first I'm going to show you the notes. We are on the A string. Okay, open A string. 2nd fret on the A string, 3rd fret on the A string. Okay? Then we go. We go.
go to the 7th fret on the A string and the 6th fret on the A string. So we have the second time we play this we go so seven six five three From there, we start again with the open A string. Okay, and after we are done with, um, we don't repeat this part. When this is done, once it's done. After that, we only play. and then we're done with this part. Okay, I'm gonna show you the whole part slowly. part. It's not that difficult actually. Um, the only difficult thing about this part, as I said, is the picking. So uh, yeah, I think the best is just to uh, play it and then <laughs> kind of figure it out. Um, I'm gonna play it for you the way I play it. Like this, okay. Just try it and maybe you start off slowly and then you increase your speed until you've got it. It's, it's a bit tricky also um, not to uh, hit any other string while doing it. This entire part um, is played only uh, on the A string. But yeah, you will, you will figure that out. Okay. After that, we have one last part, it goes... Okay, we end here. Okay, very simple. And um, we go... Open, open D. Okay, so... A power chord on the 12th fret, which is also a D actually. The same note. Part, and then the whole part okay that's very simple okay um that's it <laughs> It's a, it's a really great song. I really like Normal by Porcupine Tree. Uh, I wonder which one was first, Normal or Sentimental. Not really sure, but I really like the idea of uh, having those two songs with uh, the same chorus. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really like Porcupine Tree. I hope that they will uh, come back together soon. And I will try to learn some more Porcupine Tree stuff for you, but not only. Uh, Soon there will be a tutorial for Bloom by Radiohead on piano, the piano version that Tom York plays. I'll try to figure it out. Uh, okay, so <laughs> stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you next time.